Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do the early lineup build for tonight's MLB slate. And again, I, listen, I know it's like getting near the end of the MLB season, and you know we're only a couple of slates left, but I still think it's important to just continue to get used to how this, how to do these lineup builds, how to use Sabres, and how to how to maneuver around and just how to learn from this stuff. And uh, hey, maybe we're going to win something tonight as well. That'd be nice, also. So. What we're going to do is we are going to just – we're going to use the Saber Sim projections for now. Uh, I didn't even do the two DFS projections yet. Uh, I'll do those later. But just, again, just to kind of show you guys how to, how to operate this stuff. Um, so we had to make two changes because we didn't put our custom projections in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a uh, – you know, we're going to run a 30 lineup – or 40 lineup build. We're going to look at it from just the straight Sabre score perspective. Then we're going to run a contest sim and see what it looks like there and think about what changes we might want to make. So let's just first start by building 40 lineups. We'll do, oh, let's do 2,000 total. So we're building a, 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 a pool of 2,000 lineups and we're, we're listing the top 40 and we're not making any other changes yet. Okay. Um, but what I do want to do is while this is happening, I want to add the information on the, on the, uh, contest. We want to sim. One of them would be the relay throw. That's the big lottery. Um, relay throw, save that. So we're, we're, we're using Saber sim ownerships and as far as what type of field to build and this payout structure that's already been preloaded by Saber sim to kind of compare our set of lineups based on how much pays for first, how many people expect to be in. And again, that Sabre Sim ownership field is going to predict what the field lineup pool is going to look like. The other thing I want to put in here is the perfect game because we're going to be playing that. Um, boom. It's perfect. Save settings. And we're ready to go once we decide to do this. So the first thing I'll look at here is what these lineups look like before I make any changes. And specifically, what I like to look at um, is how many relievers they try to jam in my face. Um, and it looks as though, yeah, so in the utility, for example, I'm going to be getting, you know, a little bit, you know, like one lineup. Two lineups of Ginkle and Mantiply, two lineups of Seawold, four lineups of Leclerc. And uh, it's up to you whether to X those out or not. I mean, honestly, I, I am honestly not sure what you're supposed to do with this, um, with these relievers. I'm inclined to just leave them in there just because if you do get those right and you're a hundred and you're unique, you're, you're a genius. <laughs> um, in the captain, I hope to not get any relievers in the captain. I'm actually getting sure in the captain, so I probably will get rid of that one if, in fact, I do opt to go with, with this type of build. So what I want to do next is run a contest sim and see, uh, again, what our lineups look like when actually comparing them to the field of lineups of the of the contest we're playing. Um, and, I, you know, for my own education, I like to see what the differences are. And we get to choose what we want to do with it. What I like to see, by the way, when I when I build these reliever lineups, is the lineup uh, is the uh, the salary completely filled out. And the reason for that is that these guys are all priced at four K. So let's just say that all the other positions in the lineup smash, then technically the only price that could go with those five players smashing has to be exactly 4K. So if you play the relievers in a situation like that, you might actually be able to win with a zero. Um, and God forbid, you know, you actually score a point or two, I mean, you can definitely win. So that that's why I sometimes when I, when I play the relievers, I do like to, to, to make sure that the money is, you know, there's no money left on the table with relievers. 
because if there is money left on the table, then you cannot guarantee that those five crushers in the other part would actually even be optimal. Because if there's 200, 300 left, then it's someone else could have could have replaced those. Okay, so let's see what these look like. Um, let's first list by relay throw, risk adjusted ROI. And again, all I'm really looking at for now is how many relievers I'm getting. So here, wow, 45% Ryan Nelson as the starter. You think that he's really going to carry the whole day there? I don't know. Um, it's a big pitcher's build here. And then in the utility, boy, you're basically 100% Ryan Nelson. And about 40% multiply so i guess they're really they're really projecting that this combination of nelson and multiply are going to go together which is sort of interesting i actually don't mind that idea and if you're right like you're a champion um ryan nelson three percent ownership only projected in the captain I, I got to see what's going on with this. Because, again, this is what's happening. If we only presume that he's going to be 3% owned, then he's just going to show up in a lot of these types of builds. So, like anything else in DFS, you're, it's garbage in, garbage out. If your ownership projections are terrible, then all of this stuff doesn't matter. Okay? Um, so, I would actually advise to not, you know, well, I would advise this anyway. To not rely on this type of build right now because I'm not really convinced that those ownership projections are any good. Um, for now, I am gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to uh, the original saber score builds, and while yes, that does have some relievers, it doesn't have quite as many. And I would go with that one, and then I would also put min uniques too, just to kind of mess around a little bit. And one other thing I want to do is I do want to make sure that uh, I'm, I'm giving it a little duplication medication, which means that I want to make sure that these lineups don't rate to be duped with like 700 other people. So one little test that you can do is, and you've seen me do this with other sports, is just to make sure your geo mean is within a certain range. Um, and I, I refer you to the uh, Saber Sim uh, videos of to, uh, talk about what geo meat is but i did put a little spreadsheet together and um i want to figure out in the relay throw what your geo mean is supposed to be so the contest size 11,764 so let's put in in the spreadsheet 11,764 11,064 uh there are six players in the lineup and we only we don't want any dupes more than one so uh, geo means got to be 21 or less. And I think that we have that pretty handily covered here, but let's just take a look. Let's, let's filter these by geo mean. And I call it geo test just cause I, that's the way I set it up. Geo test 21 save. Let's just make sure that they're all here. They should be. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. Um, and I'll just go with these, honestly, for now. Again, I, I have to re I have to look again at the at the um, updated ownership projections. So we're gonna upload my dummy lineups that I put in before. We're going to save this to the relay throw, boom. And then we want to do is go back and to that contest sim which we did before. Uh, and see in the perfect game what it looks like. And again, it's giving me Ryan Nelson and the captain. And I'm just, I just wonder if the only reason that's happening is because his ownership rates to be so low. Um, so what I'm going to do again is for now, I'm, I'm going to askew that one and just go with something like this. Um, just kind of like the top lineup in this other build until we can get a better handle on what these ownership uh, projections look like. So we'll do this. Then we will go into DraftKings. We will upload here. 
and we should be in, in business. Okay, so this is an eight o'clock start. So uh, is it also a 7.30 NBA lock? So what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna go live anyway from 6.30 to seven. And then at 7.30, maybe I'll come back after the NBA lineups are built and uh, go through the uh, the updated build for the, uh, for the showdown slate in the MLB. Uh, okay, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, yes, for this slate, but more important to how to apply these techniques to other slates. And uh, that should do it. Good luck, everybody.